Welcome, Sally Sawaya. Thank you, Gavin. How are you feeling this morning? Good. Well, thank you for coming in. So if you have a question for, for Sally, our WhatsApp number is 03887000. Sally is a very good dietitian, and you can ask, ask anything on uh, diet-related issues, nutrition. Well, what else can you answer on, uh, questions on? Anything to do with uh, high, high cholesterol, blood pressure, anything to do with medical-related uh, nutrition issues, as well as normal diet exercise. <laughs> if you'd like to get in touch with Sally, you can on Facebook. It's Sally's Diet Right on Facebook or uh, Sally's Diet Right dot com on the, the internet. So zero three eight eight seven zero zero zero. Vanessa. Yeah, we already have messages. What have we got there? There is a guy. He said it's been a lot. It's been a while. Well, I'm trying to lose weight with no successful with, with no success. Started gym two weeks ago, and I read on the internet about a diet involving in in terrible workouts, bodybuilding. So, so he 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 read about. Uh, what are, what are these workouts called? Uh, interval training, Gavin. It means like when you, uh, if you, you're you walking, like you walk for one minute, then you run for one minute, then you walk again for one minute. Okay. This boosts your calorie That's burning what I'm capacity, doing. you know? Is it it right? helps burn cal- It helps burn calories. So, so what, what's the actual question? Uh, and in addition, there's a cheat day w- uh, the week. He's one asking week if, there are specific, if, the, if there's a specific diet mm. to go with, with this type of exercise. I mean, it should be a balanced diet. If you want to lose weight, it has to be low calorie, high in fiber. Mm. It contains a good amount of proteins and just incorporate some uh, strength training uh, or bodybuilding in your uh, workout. Mm -hmm. And he's asking about the cheat day. You know, there's no good food and bad food diet. Uh, there's no good food and bad food. There's a good diet or bad diet. Mm. So if once in a while you want to have a free meal, that's fine. As long as you take care of your diet. You know, the, the whole way. day you can eat fats. <laughs> exactly, fat. exactly. There's another message. Okay, let's skip this one. Second, I have okay. I have no energy whatsoever, and I'm a gluten intolo- intolerant. It, is it because of my special diet? Uh, I got we got one last week. We didn't have a chance to answer it. Yep, we're uh, gonna read them. The, the girl or guy also were gluten intolerant, and they have no energy. Mm. So, what does uh, it mean to be gluten, gluten intolerant? intolerant? You know, Gavin. I mean, these people, uh, the, their gut doesn't tolerate gluten, which is an uh, which is um, the protein in wheat and barley and rice. Okay. So they have to eliminate these from their foods. They can have instead rice, corn, or pure oats. Mm. Mm. But how can they tell if gluten they is, is in a product? Yeah, uh, they, yeah, they have to read labels very carefully. They have to eliminate lots of foods that we eat, like pasta, you know, like uh, the whole the breads that we eat. They have to have their special bread, their special pasta, and they have to read labels very carefully because it's available in sauces, in uh, in dressings, salad dressings. Yeah. It's even available in the pill coating or supplement. Oh God, or, really? Yeah, drugs. But, but how do we know that we're gluten intolerant? You have to visit a doctor. You cannot diagnose yourself. The but, doctor has to do tests. But what sort of symptoms do we get? Ah, you get sometimes diarrhea, sometimes uh, malabsorption. I mean, it's it's just a medical yeah. problem. You have to mm. visit a doctor. He does blood tests. He does also uh, gut tests, you know, okay. something to do with the stomach. So uh, he has to visit a dietitian. We have, I mean, they have to have a special diet as well as have uh, vitamin and mineral supplements. So that's why maybe he's feeling tired. And it's definitely uh, recommended to do a blood test anemia to rule out that he's not anemic. That's why he's mm. feeling very tired. Right. Thank you for your message this morning. We have another message from Eli. Yeah, we have another message. Eli said, morning, guys. I'm getting busy all day, barely having time for one or two meals per day. And I'm eating hugely on that meal because of, of hunger and getting fatter and fatter. What do you recommend? I know sometimes we get really, really busy, mm. but we have to try at least to put in some snacks in the food, uh, in, the, in the daily diet. If you don't snack, then you will eat a lot on mm. the main meal. I mean, two meals, then you're eating a lot, then you're gaining weight. It's more calories, more fat going to the body, you will gain Not weight. Good. So definitely, I mean, before one hour of the meal, just have an apple or something a little bit filling so you don't eat too much at mm. meals and try to make them at least three to four meals, not only two. Mm. Do you recommend the rice cake? Yeah, why not? Rice cakes are low in calories, Mm -hmm. especially if you get the whole grain. I mean, the rice with its outer layer Mm -hmm. is really healthy, yes. We have messages from last week. Hi, uh, is chocolate spread really that bad? I love it. It does not 
lasts long in my house, especially in the evening, and I, I can eat it with teaspoon. Yeah, you can just <laughs> open, open the open, open the, the top <laughs> thing and just eat it straight from, straight from the pot. Yeah, I can do that. I think everybody loves chocolate spread. Mm. Every everybody. I personally don't buy it and store it because I I tend to eat it with a spoon yeah. too. So I don't keep it at home. I mean, uh, when you overindulge, then you have too many calories and fat. You will gain weight definitely. Mm. So try to limit yourself to a tablespoon, maximum two shallow tablespoons because like one tablespoon of the chocolate spread mm. has about 80 calories. Wow. And we don't recommend it having more than 150 to 200 calories from chocolate. Mm. So two tablespoons will be your uh, limit. <laughs> so what are the side effects of being a chocolate addict? A person is asking. He eats like five bars every day. Oh God, that's not that's good. That's too much. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. So we normally recommend like half a bar or a small, small bar, about 25 to 30 grams. So the guy is eating a lot. Again, uh, it will show on the waistline. We have to try mm-hmm. to break the cycle now. You know, what's happening is like you feel, a, uh, you, you feel a dip, you have a chocolate bar, then your blood sugar regulates, then it goes down again. You feel a crave for another bar. Mm-hmm. It's like a never, never ending cycle. Yeah. So best thing to do is like have a healthy snack with whole grains that regulates the blood sugar, like a sandwich. It can be peanut butter sandwich, cheese sandwich, mm-hmm. or just a bunch of uh, nuts and uh, dried fruits. Then you will have like you will have the sweet taste and you will not crave more sweets. Mm. And try to limit the milk chocolate and go for the dark chocolate because it really satisfies your craving better than milk chocolate. I love that. <laughs> now there's this guy who sent us a message. He's on this uh, six day workout routine, which is quite a lot. Six days he's working out. He's on this diet of both carbs and protein. So half protein, half carbs. Somebody told him this diet is not good. Is that true that it's not good? Yes, Gavin, because uh, when you exercise, you need to have a minimum of 50% of your calories coming from carbs, but no more than 20 to 25% coming from proteins. Mm. So it's not a half-half situation. The proteins are always much less. We need protein much less than carbs. Also, he needs to fuel his muscle with healthy carbs. Yeah. So uh, too much protein can do put a load on your kidneys. It can uh, make you have uh, kidney problems later on. It also can reduce the absorption of calcium in your body and mm. make you, I mean, make you have osteoporosis later in life so it is dangerous he should have a balanced a balanced uh, diet and too much protein somebody told me that if you have too much protein it gets stored as fat is that right yes yes Gavin if you have too much calories from protein it's the same than if you have too much calories from carbs or fat they will be stored in the body as fat mm. so you're saying 75% carbs 25% 50% carbs yeah 20 to 25% proteins the rest fats 25 to 30% oh, okay. good fats <laughs> nice to the the happy good fats. Yeah. So, so any more questions? What do you what do you recommend to eat after uh, a person goes to the gym or does like thirty minutes uh, on treadmill? Just 30 Which, minutes. Okay. Uh, we can have a piece of fruit directly after the workout, like a banana or an apple or something. Then a balanced meal, like a whole grain sandwich of turkey, of cheese, of labneh, or a tuna or chicken. Just proteins. mix up the carbs and proteins together, a mix of the two. Okay. Sally Sawaya, thank you for coming in today. You're welcome. Sally is the dietitian here at Radio 1. If you'd like to get in touch with her, it's Sally's Diet Right on Facebook and on the internet as well. Sally, thank you. Yeah.